Yo guys, what is up? CP the one and only Monster Gamer playing Aliens Colonial Marines. Having a really good time, not gonna lie. Let's talk about the DLC real quick and then we'll move on to my first initial thoughts of this game. Alright, so the DLC is going to be coming the very first pack. Whatever you... It's like either a map pack or it's just... It's, you know, everything encompassed. It's gonna be new campaign stuff, new multiplayer stuff, and it's coming March 19th and it's gonna be called Big bug hunt there will also be three more so four in total all by the end of august now we don't know the rest of the names of the other ones we don't know what they're actually going to have but hey um i'm excited about it gearbox is a company that does they love to support their games if you look at borderlands 2 that is like the top echelon of video games in the past i would say five six years I loved Borderlands 2, and am I a Gearbox fanboy? I, I wouldn't say so. You know, I, I love all different types of games, so I'm not um, partial to one company. But Gearbox is a really has had a very good track record, and I want to just get that out of the way. So what are my first thoughts of a game that was in six years of development hell? Pretty darn good. Not going to lie. I think Gearbox uh, made a really good game. That's as far as I'll go with it, though. It's not It's not the best game, you know, ever made. It's no Borderlands 2, for sure. And it's not the worst game I've ever played, either. It really isn't. Um, it's got a lot of good elements to it. It's fast-paced. It's fun. But for the non-Alien fan, somebody who's, you know, a fan of action shooters or just FPS shooters in general and you like to play a lot of different games, w would you like it as well? I think so. I think so. But I think for the masses, it's just basically the quintessential rainy Saturday afternoon type of rental game. Like where, you know, you can bust it out in six to ten hours. And that's what's rumored. Now, right now, I'm cruising on, depends on who you talk to, but for me anyway, it's probably going to take me about six to seven hours to beat. But I'm also trying to collect everything that I can. And I'm kind of wandering around and just enjoying the environments. And I don't understand why so many people are hating on it. I'm just going to you know, stop there and whatever. All right. Let's get into what... Uh, let's just, you know, let's go down the list. How are the graphics? Well, they're not that great, okay? The screen tearing is abysmal, and I'm not a video game coder, but I know a little bit about coding. I, I really hope that they can patch that because, my goodness, that that is just... The screen tearing in this game is, is terrible. Um, it reminds me of Saints Row, I think it was 2, where the screen tearing was just like, sometimes you're like, what the heck? Um, and, and the graphics, it looks like a launch title. And and that brings me actually to another point. If this was a Xbox 360 launch title, it might have gone down as one of the greatest games of all time. But it's not. It's six years later, and we're stuck with this. The sound... I think they nailed all the sound effects. I think the guns sound great. And uh, although I feel like when you're shooting your weapons, especially with a pulse rifle, the ammo count is a little off for some reason. It feels like you're shooting more than you are, but that's just the way the gun sounds. But the shotguns feel good or sound good. And the the atmosphere is, is epic. I mean, the Xenomorphs sound like they should. You know, you got the original soundtrack from Aliens and... There's a lot of actors from that movie as well, so I, I'm digging it. So as far as the gameplay is concerned, there, you know, it's just like any other corridor shooter that exists out there today. You run through, you know, different areas. You shoot bad guys. You do a, a whatever task, and then you move on to the next task, and you shoot more bad guys. And that's pretty much what it is. It's pretty much how the story goes. And I can see how. That's one kind of major fault to the game, other than the uh, graphics, obviously, that are an issue. But, you know, it doesn't keep it from being fun. Because there are a ton of things to unlock. There's a ton of different weapons. There are tons of different upgrades that you can do. There's a lot of uh, just di different cool stuff in the game that, if you're a fan of the Aliens franchise, that you're really going to enjoy. So, I'm going to leave it on a high note, just saying, like, look. If you're a fan of the Alien franchise, you definitely have to buy this. If you're just a fan of FPS shooters, I'd say rent it. And 
that's that. So, never eat Saga Waffles, guys. Enjoy. I will be supporting the living crap out of this game. So, uh, expect more to come. Love you. Never eat Saga Waffles. I'm out. Peace. Commentaries, gameplays, and vlogs all are found on CP's channel that you're watching now. But take a small disclaimer, y'all in danger. You're now tuned in to the Monster Gamer.